A week has passed since the mob rioted and sieged the nation's capital. Now, nearly every day, people with Colorado ties who went to D.C. are surfacing in news reports and in criminal cases. Gold medal swimmer Cleek Keller of Colorado Springs was hit with a federal arrest warrant out of D.C. for violent entry and obstruction. Video shows the six foot six Olympian in the Capitol wearing a USA jacket with an official Olympic patch, which is cited in the federal arrest warrant. The document cites these online videos capturing his alleged crime. And then there's Cleveland Meredith, who was also prolific online. A man accused of traveling from Colorado armed with an assault rifle, a pistol, high capacity magazines, and 2,500 rounds. Investigators say he had plans to target Speaker Nancy Pelosi and shoot her in the head on live TV. He's facing federal charges, too. Um, we are doing everything we can to make sure that um, that any uh, peaceful protests um, go off safely here in Colorado. Locally, Colorado law enforcement say they are looking out for threats, especially as the FBI warns about armed protests at state capitol buildings this weekend. It is essentially a 24-hour uh, operation between now and Inauguration Day. Colorado's U.S. Attorney Jason Dunn said his office is working with the entire Department of Justice on cases that may surface here in the state or in D.C. Is there any potential that cases could surface here in Colorado's di jurisdiction that relate to what happened in D.C. and what happened with the Capitol? Absolutely. I think um, uh, we can expect that there will be um, uh, at least several of those coming out in the next few days. Online, some far-right groups are actually discouraging people from showing up armed at the Capitol, believing it's a ploy by the left to get them in trouble. It's illegal to open carry a gun in Denver. From now until inauguration, the feds say they are watching closely. But monitoring uh, social media and other avenues, using investigatory techniques to um, you know, look for potential threats of violence. We're not interested in, in investigating political speech, and we're not investiga uh, interested in investigating those who uh, want to engage in protest, um, but we are interested in investigating uh, those uh, uh, individuals who um, potentially want to cause harm to others. The feds have received more than 100,000 images from the public in an effort to identify the insurrectionists. More of them could be charged soon. Jeremy Hohola, 9 News.